Google Analytics is a free tool that tracks your website traffic and other data so you can see how many people visit your site, data about individual pages, information about your conversions, and how people are interacting with your content. It's a powerful tool. To get started, you'll need to manually add code to your site, which can be a little intimidating if you're not used to working with code. And honestly, it's a bit of a pain to set up the advanced tracking features too. But Monster Insights makes connecting your WordPress site with Google Analytics easy. It takes the data from Google Analytics and displays it right on your WordPress dashboard in an organized, easy to read, and understandable way. Monster Insights lets you easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics so you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. And with just a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking and e-commerce tracking. Plus, you can easily track forms, custom dimensions, outbound links and media, as well as many things that Google Analytics doesn't track right out of the box. To get started, you'll need to install Monster Insights. You want to be sure to choose the license level with all the features that you need. So, for example, if you have an e-commerce site, you'll want the pro version so you can track your sales. Or if you just need the basics, then check out the link in the description on how to get an unlimited free trial of Monster Insights. Now, for this tutorial, I'll be using Monster Insights Pro. All right, once you're all signed up, just go to your account area and then head over to the Download tab and download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. Next, log into your WordPress site and then on the admin sidebar, click Plugins and then select Add New. All right, now click the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. Now you can either click Choose File or just drag and drop the zip file here and then click Install. Now once that's done, activate the Monster Insights plugin. All right, now you need to connect Google Analytics to your site. Don't worry, just follow the steps in the Setup Wizard and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site without editing any code. If you'd like more details, be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. Now let's see how easy it is to view your WordPress analytics in your dashboard. Once you've connected your site with Google Analytics, you can see the most critical data right inside WordPress. Let's start with a dashboard widget. You can view the number of sessions, page views, average session duration, and total users. You can also see other reports here too, like top posts and pages, new versus returning visitors, and device breakdowns. Now let's get into the detailed reports. Just head over to Insights and then to Reports. And at the top of the Overview Report, you're going to see a graph displaying the number of sessions and page views. And you can easily change the date range by clicking up here at the top right corner of your screen. And you can use this button to view and download a PDF of your report. Now, just beneath that graph, you're going to see a pencil icon. That's Site Notes. Site Notes is a tool that allows you to take notes about your marketing activities in WordPress can be used to keep track of new blog posts, marketing campaigns, and website updates. The notes are going to show up right here in your overview report and provide context to the changes that you've made right alongside your data. And beneath that, you'll see a breakdown of the session, page views, average session duration, and total users. And under that, you'll see your new versus returning visitors and a breakdown of the devices that people are using to view your site. Then you'll see the top 10 countries showing you where your visitors are coming from and your top 10 referral sources. And just beneath that, you'll see your top posts and pages. Now let's head over to the Traffic tab report, where you'll find five more incredibly useful reports. The Traffic Overview summarizes performance by channel, including the number of sessions, engaged sessions, page sessions, purchases, conversion rate, and revenue. The landing page details let you see your top landing page performance broken down the same way. The source medium data makes it easy to understand where your traffic's coming from and how it's arriving so you can track the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns and make better decisions about your resources. The technology report provides insight into the devices and browsers that visitors are using to access your site so you can improve their experience, troubleshoot technical issues, and identify potential security risks. And the Campaigns Report shows you how your marketing campaigns are performing, so you can track their effectiveness, identify which campaigns are driving the most traffic and conversions, and make better decisions about how to use your marketing budget. 
Now let's look at the Publishers tab. It helps you better understand your visitors' behavior, interests, and demographics so you can improve your site's content, marketing campaigns, and overall user experience. You can use your top landing page data to see which pages on your site are most popular and why, and then you can start to improve your content and your landing page design to make them more engaging and persuasive. The top outbound traffic data allows you to see which pages on your site are sending users to other websites, so you can use this to identify potential partners and collaborators, as well as to track the effectiveness of your content marketing campaigns. Then there's the top affiliate links data to help you understand which affiliate programs are driving the most traffic and conversions to your site. And you can use that to optimize your affiliate marketing strategy to maximize your earnings. The top downloads data report can help you to understand which files or documents are the most popular on your site. This is helpful for improving your download content and making them more relevant to your target audience. Finally, the demographics, interest, and scroll depth reports can help you figure out who visits your site, what they're interested in, and how far down they read on your pages. You can use this to create content and marketing campaigns that are more likely to appeal to your audience. Next up is the Search Console report. You can use that report to monitor the search terms being used to find your site, the clicks, impressions, click-through rate, and your average position in Google Search. That way you can make informed decisions about how to improve your site's performance, visibility, and ranking in Google Search results. Now we'll move on to the e-commerce tab. You can see your online store's performance, but keep in mind that you'll need to be using the Monster Insights Pro Plan and install the add-on. Now here you'll see data to help you figure out what's working and what's not working on your online store. You can use this info to improve your conversion rate, your transactions, revenue, and average order value. Now below that, you're going to see which products are the best sellers. And at the bottom, you'll see your top conversion sources so you can identify which marketing channels are driving the most conversions. The total add to carts data is going to help you see how many products are being added to carts. The remove from cart information helps you identify which products are being removed from carts before checkout. You can use the new customer data to track the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns and identify new opportunities to acquire customers. And with the abandoned checkout data, you can identify areas where you can improve your checkout process and reduce cart abandonment. Now let's jump over to the Monster Insights Funnel Report. With this report, you can see how website visitors progressed from viewing an item to adding it to a cart all the way to purchase. And you can measure how customers convert in your online store. It shows you the different stages of the customer journey from awareness to purchase and how many customers are dropping off at each stage. This is going to help you identify areas where you can improve your conversion rate and grow your business. Now let's move on to the coupon report. It can help you track the performance of your coupons and promotions. The report shows the coupon name, and the revenue it's generated, the number of transactions coupons have been used on, and the average order value. You can use that data to gain insight into how your coupons are performing, identify which ones are driving the most revenue, and optimize your campaigns. All right, in addition to the reports that we've went over so far, you'll also find the Dimensions tab to help you keep track of your custom dimensions like logged in users, user IDs, post types, authors, categories, focus keywords, and more. You can use the custom dimensions to create more granular reports, identify trends and patterns, and a lot more. The Forms tab provides insight into the performance of your online forms, and it works with nearly all form plugins. The Real-Time tab allows you to see how many people are currently active on your site. That's handy for identifying popular content, tracking visitor behavior, troubleshooting problems, and optimizing your marketing campaign. The Site Speed tab helps you keep track of your site's load time. The Media tab provides detailed analytic information about your embedded videos. For an in-depth look at all the reports and how to use them, be sure to check out our post on the Ultimate Guide to Monster Insights Dashboards reports. I'll leave a link in the description. Now you know how you can see your WordPress analytics right on your WordPress dashboard. Now we hope that you found it helpful in optimizing your WordPress site. Now don't forget to check out all the links in the description. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.